One of the fastest ways to improve your game this year might well be to concentrate on the short game. Now we've teamed up with Ping and we're here at the London Club to offer you some really helpful pointers about how to improve, starting, Liam, with bunker play. Now I guess the issue that a lot of people will have is that they either are in danger of thinning the ball into the face or mm -hmm. fatting it and leaving it in the bunker. So how do you get more consistent with the amount of sand you take? Yes, yeah, so the most inconsistent thing that you see in the bunker really is obviously where the club is striking the ground. So as you've just mentioned there, some players trying to help the golf ball out of the bunker, hitting the, hitting the sand in the wrong place. And then obviously that fearful thin that goes through the back of the green. But we've got a simple drill for you here basically that just enables you to obviously make sure that when you're practicing back home, when you're practicing in the bunker, you are entering the sand in the right place every time. So it's just a simple line here in the sand. And there's a couple of basic things that we're gonna do in your setup just to enable you to ensure that we're gonna hit that ground in the right place. Okay, so um, tell us about that setup then. What do you need to do to make sure that you're in the right place before you So play? again, just a little common thing that we start to see quite a bit of is that, you know, when, when a player's set up here, Obviously, the first thing that we, we generally see is the golf ball gets a little bit too far back in their stance. So this line that I've got here on the ground, I'm just going to make sure that that's just inside my left heel in the setup. And then obviously, when I've got now into my address position, I'm just going to place a little bit more of my weight onto my left side. So I've got about 70 to 80 percent of my weight on this left side now. And as I'm just having a few practice swings, all I'm going to ensure is that I'm just going to strike that line in the same place every single time. I guess the temptation, Liam, for people when they're hitting a, a, a bunker shot, but any sort of chip shot, is to kind of lean back on it a bit and feel like you're helping the ball up in the air. It can feel like the most uh, sort of natural thing to do, but actually that can hurt you, right? Absolutely, and that's where you've just got to trust the fact that you've got plenty of loft in your hands in the first place. I mean, we've got 56 degrees of loft here, so there's no need for me to try and add any more loft at any given point, but there's just a little bit of a trust thing in there to make sure that you, you set up in the right place, first of all. But 80% of this really is your setup. If we get that right, the rest of it is a lot more straightforward. Okay, Liam, so talk us through the drill. Okay, so basic drill, obviously I've, I've drawn the line in the sand here. So all that we're gonna do really when we set ourselves up in the practice now, two or three practice swings before we go ahead and hit the ball. And I'm just gonna make sure that this golf ball's just positioned inside of my left foot here, okay? And now I'm gonna place around 70% of my weight onto that front side, as I mentioned. And I'm just gonna have a few practice swings making sure that I'm hitting the sand in the right place, okay? The, the big thing to watch out for when you're doing this is obviously making sure we're, we're not seeing the club enter the sand too far behind that line because that will refer to what we spoke about. So, shall I give it a go? Give it a go, yeah, let's see. Okay, so plenty of loft on the golf club, but in a dress there, ball's just inside my left foot. I've got a little bit of weight on that left side. Perfect and then off we go. Lovely, and if you can do that, then you should be able to kind of eradicate some of those really poor shots that might be costing you in the bunker. Okay, so we're moving on to chipping now. And Liam, I guess for whatever level of golfer you are, uh, getting consistently the distance right is the key, isn't it? So how do, you, how do you go about training that? How can you practice for that? Absolutely, so I mean, there's, there's first of all, a couple of things that you can do, just generally basics in your setup that offer you a little bit more control kind of when, when you're hitting a chip shot. So often we see a lot of amateurs hitting golf shots with their hands right at the top of the grip here. Now, the club's actually at its heaviest when you're holding all the way up here. So to gain yourself a little bit more control and, and again, help you gauge the distance a little bit better, the first thing to do is just grip down the golf club a little bit. So you can see my hands are almost covering the golf pride there on that grip. So. Right. Now, the second thing that I've got set out here for, for when you're practicing is that there's just a towel on the green there. So that's my ideal landing area for this shot. So to refer that to your, your distance control, all that we're gonna do now is just have a few different practice swings. And the only thing that I'm, I'm trying to do here is, is just have a relevant practice swing of how hard I'm trying to hit that. Often we see a lot of golfers have very irrelevant practice swings where they might be swinging back too far or they not even have a practice swing at all. Yes, so you're really trying to gain a feel for distance just by looking at the towel and then Ab feeling the left side swing. So just eyes on the towel, a few different practice swings there, just keeping my eyes on there and just trying to gauge if I'm taking that golf club far enough back in order to land it where I want. And when you're out on the golf course then, are you trying to, how much attention are you paying to your landing spot when you're on the golf course? Is that 
just as important there. 100%. Identifying that landing area, first of all, is a really important part and often something a lot of golfers don't do. So it's worth just taking a little look, having a little walk around before you hit the chip shot and just trying to identify yourself an area where you'd like to land the golf ball in order for it to release back down to the pin. Okay, Liam, let's give it a go. Okay. So I'm going to make sure that, as I mentioned, my I'm just covering that the logo on the bottom of my grip there. I'm going to have two or three practice swings just keeping my eye on that landing area, just trying to replicate the swing that I need. I'm going to get in there and give it a hit. Very good. It's these sorts of drills that if you can use them, it stops you getting too technical, stops you thinking too much, but should help improve your feel and that could make a big difference to your scores.